right. Today I will be reading the text Reading Buddies. Um, this is a model text for our Unit 2 Animal Allies. This selection is an example of an informative explanatory text, a type of writing in which an author presents facts and details in a way that allows readers to understand a topic or process. This is the type of writing you will develop in the performance-based assessment at the end of the unit. As you read, look at the way the ideas are introduced and explained. Mark the text to help you determine key ideas and details. So when we are reading this, we want to make sure we are looking for key ideas and details because this will help us um, with our writing at the end of the unit. All right, here we go. In a school library across town, a third grade boy is reading his favorite book to a dog named Theo. The boy is petting the dog as he reads, and the dog has its paw on the boy's foot. Both seem relaxed and happy. But what is a dog doing in a school library? I would say that is a perfect hook right there. We have, we have a little bit of a description here and then a question. Okay, now paragraph two is going to introduce something. Theo is a five-year-old border collie, um, is one of more than 2,300 dogs around the country that have been trained to listen to people read aloud. He is part of a program that began in Utah in 1999. Through this program, teams of dogs and their handlers were sent out to schools and libraries to serve as reading companions for kids who were having trouble reading. Since then, similar reading programs have popped up in every region of the United States. They have helped thousands of kids improve not only their reading skills, but their attitude about reading. All right, right here, this paragraph sets up the main topic, which is about reading drugs help kids having trouble um, with reading. And we are going to probably find out more information about kids improving their reading skills and attitudes about their reading. So those are some details I'm looking um, to read about in the next paragraphs. There are many reasons kids can have trouble reading. Some have learning disabilities, some think it's boring, some are new to English, and others just haven't found a book they like. So these are all examples of why kids might have trouble reading. Whatever the cause, struggling readers have one thing in common, they lack confidence. Learning to read is often less about reading skills than it is about confidence. To a struggling reader, an animal listener can produce less anxiety than a human listener. I'm gonna pause for a minute so you can think about that. So my question to you is, why would an animal listener um, produce less anxiety than a human listener? So let me ask you this question. If I were to be listening to you read, you're gonna be thinking along the lines of, what did am I doing wrong? Did I say something right? A dog can't talk back to you, right? So I'm wondering if that's where this paragraph is, or this is going, this idea here. I'm gonna move over to this side. Dogs are the ideal, which means like perfect, reading companions. They aren't in a hurry, so you can read at your own pace. They won't stop you when you've pronounced something wrong. They won't laugh at you or make you feel self-conscious, which is when you like are unsure of yourself. They will, won't, um, when you read to a dog, you are not as likely to feel judged. You get a chance to focus on the book you're reading rather than your performance. Ooh, I like that. That is a really good point. So here, the topic sentence is dogs are ideal reading companions. And then the details to support that are they aren't in a hurry. You, you can read at your own pace and all of these things. 
Paragraph six, I never finished a whole book before, said a 10-year-old girl who participated in the program. She had been reading at a first grade level and hardly ever practiced because she was too shy to read out loud. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? But after a few weeks of reading to a dog companion, she finished the book. She was proud of herself for having overcome such a major hurdle. So this paragraph is more of an example to go with the topic sentence here. Dogs are ideal reading companions. Here are the reasons why, and paragraph six is an example. Paragraph seven, reading is like any other skill. The more you practice, the better you get. But it's hard to find someone who has the time to sit down and listen. Readers can also feel nervous about making mistakes. But if you're practicing with a dog, said one reading specialist, you don't mind making the mistake. In fact, you'll probably correct it. Hmm. So here is another e example that goes with the paragraph here, or the topic sentence, dogs are the ideal reading companions. This is an example giving us more details that you're probably gonna correct your reading if you're reading with a dog. Paragraph eight, more and more libraries and schools are using dogs to help kids improve their reading skills and confidence level. Sometimes when people read to dogs, it's the dogs that benefit. For example, the Arizona Animal Welfare League and Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Well, that's one long name. That is all just a name. Like our name of our school is Garden City. This is just the name of this, um, like a rescue service or something. They are, um, there is using reading as a tool to help shelter animals become happier, more well-adjusted pets. Program volunteers spend time reading to dogs and cats who are waiting to be adopted. Reading calms the animals down and makes them more comfortable around people. Again, this paragraph gives us more details and a, a concrete, a for real example of why dogs are ideal reading companions. Paragraph nine. Through the experience of reading, humans and animals are helping each other develop the skills that they need to take on life's challenges, whatever those challenges happen to be. And that is our conclusion paragraph. Um, I really enjoyed this story and I hope you did too. Just remember this is our model text. So this is the perfect example of finding the way to present facts and details so a reader can understand your topic.